given them her work as an actress has been some kind of a standard. So much so that as young moviegoers, we would always like look for ways to imitate her way of acting. This uh, actress, her work as an actress has set definitely indelible standards in uh, Philippine movies. Her work with major directors such as Lino Broca has upped the ante in terms of the way acting is seen and appreciated by audiences here in this country. In fact, because of her work, she has won, she has been nominated several times in the Palmas, the Yuritan, and many other acting awards. But her mettle wasn't only proven in acting, she would also prove her mettle in storytelling when she directed the game-changing Salome, which is known as one of the most important works in now in Philippine cinema and with herself as one of our most important directors in uh, the industry. Furthermore, she moved on to help not only the artistic side of the industry but in the management of the industry as well by becoming the head of the Film Development Council of the Philippines, where through policy, through programs, she was able to introduce major game-changing um, policies and programs that would help prop up the industry even more. And of course, up to now, she remains one of the founding members and the founder of the Sinigaya Philippine Independent uh, Film uh, festival and foundation, which we know is responsible for lifting the industry from the doldrums 19 years ago. So if this festival was a child, she saw the rearing of this child up to its adolescence and now into its young adulthood. And if there was anyone who would be the embodiment of our symbol today, of our theme today, which is Illumination, I think it would be her. For she, with her work in the industry, with her work in the art, in the arts of the, the art of the cinema, she has lent her luminous presence, her luminous talent as an actor, as a director, and as a cultural administrator. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the president of the Cinemalaya Foundation, Ms. Loris Gillian. Thank you, Chris, for that uh, introduction. Uh, I'm trying to make it brief, I have to say what I have to say, in addition to uh, welcoming you all uh, to the opening night of the Cinemalaya, our favorite festival. So, ladies and gentlemen, filmmakers, film enthusiasts, and friends of Cinemalaya, welcome to the much anticipated opening night of our film festival. It's an absolute pleasure to have each and every one of you here with us at the PICC tonight. As we embark on this cinematic adventure, I want to take a moment to share the core essence of Cinemalaya with you. Our mission for the festival is to bring to you the selected films developed from short synopses and treatments submitted from around the Philippines that resonate with the human experience. Throughout the selection process, we have chosen films that embrace different genre themes, styles, and perspectives aiming to cater to the eclectic taste of our audience as well as enrich our understanding of Filipino culture today. We firmly believe in the power of storytelling as a means to bridge cultures, challenge our values, enlighten our minds, 
evoke genuine emotions and contribute to positive change. To achieve this goal, Cinemalaya supports these necessary conditions. It is important that the filmmaker be given freedom to tell the story. It is important that he tell his story with artistic integrity. These have been the principles that guide Cinemalaya selection, the, the monitoring through the film lab, and the, the mentoring through the film lab and the monitoring of production. Moreover, it is important that this film be seen by an audience. Lastly, it is important for the filmmaker to listen to what the audience has to say about this film. That is why the festival and also serves as a gathering ground for film enthusiasts, directors, producers, and industry professionals. It is an occasion to exchange ideas, to learn from the festival experience, to foster camaraderie, and build networks that will continue to flourish in the years to come. Tonight, let us celebrate together the creativity of filmmakers who pour their hearts and souls into their work, capturing moments that leave a lasting impression and a lasting impact on our hearts and minds. Welcome to this wonderful convergence of art and community, to the incredible stories that await us, and the shared love of cinema that unites us all. Thank you for being a part of this cinematic adventure. recognition to Wark Linares, director of Maruka, AF Where is the Line, opening film of Sinhalaya 19, Philippine Independent Film Festival 2023, given this fourth day of August 2023 at the Cinema Rizal Philippine International Convention Center, CCT Complex, Ross Boulevard, Pasay City. Signed, Dennis Marasigan, Vice President Artistic Director of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, Chris B. Miliano, Festival Director, Sinhalaya Philippine Independent Film Festival, Jose Javier Reyes, Competition and Monitoring Chairperson, Sinhalaya Foundation Incorporated, Maria Margarita Moran Floirendo, President of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, and Loris Guillen, President, Sinhalaya Foundation Incorporated. Yeah, 
Ah, uh, basta na, ang pinaka mahusay na script ko sa Palat ng Mundo kasi para siyang in the zone, nakaan lang siya. Um, headphones, tapos hindi <laughs> siya namaman sa ibang tao. Pag, pag, uh, pag nag-script ko siya, the, the savant, Miss Renz Estacio. Yeah! And the most motherly of production managers, Mr. Lex Ariella, come on down! Ang um, susunod po, ano, um, 20 years ko na siyang katrabaho ever since my, ever since uh, my very first movie, Gumitan. Um, uh, she has saved my life over and over again and uh, I cannot thank her enough. Uh, yeah, it's always, always a pleasure to work with Lorna Sanchez. <laughs> Alright. Uh, tapos yung next natin, yung sound, sound, uh, sound designer. Uh, kilalang ano po, um, musician composer, pero ano, uh, nag sound design lang siya. Ako yung director. <laughs> Mr. Irwin Ramala, look at him run! And so motion! And so hat! <laughs> okay. Uh, ang next yung ang composer, ang music, music composer, first movie po niya. Um, but I'm, I'm a big fan. You can catch him on Spotify. Uh, the, the very excellent King Pantaspina, also known as Crown! Crown! Come on down! Ayon. Tapos ano, oh my god, how can you... Ang editor ng lahat ng Cinemalaya films ever made, Mr. Ben Talentino! <laughs> the Great! Hindi <laughs> pa si Ade? Ade? Anyway, shout out to Edsel and Ade. Ade, the great production designer, Edsel, who did the graphics. Yes. Uh, si Tristan Malare, first movie din ito, cinematographer. Um, very, very happy to have worked with him. Kung hindi si Martika, Martika hindi ito pa Wala pa. Martika, the Martika Escobar, ang second cam. So, yes, we love you direct. Um, shout out din to Bianca and Ian, ang heads ng Chroma and Anima. Maraming salamat po. At naman, bigyan ako ng kakang may gumawa ng pelikula. Yun. Hey, come on, come on there. Um, and then also, uh, shout out to Bianca, Jan, and Ian, oh well, yes. Uh, Andy, Brian, Jam, Bene. Si Bene yung gumawa ng, uh, gal kay Bene yung title. Para po kaya. Um, Charlie, Mavs, and Anna. Um, and, okay, when, Yung nalala ko yung, ano, yung first few days of lockdown, di ba? Yung, yung nakapag-unify sa atin lahat yung chismis, di ba? Doon do tayo naging ano, united. So nalala ko yung first week, yung ano, di ba? Yung motherfucker, stay at home! Yung first day. Tapos yung second week, yung senador na ano, na pumasok sa, sa maternity ward, tapos may COVID na na siya. Tapos the third week, um, a lovely lady released a 43 long tweet. 43. Three tweet long thread uh, that kept us all awake and kept us all entertained and her resilience and her uh, self-deprecation was really inspiring and the next day I met with Kren and Army and I said okay, ano pa yung ano yung next film natin? So producers Kren and Army who really took care of me from the very beginning. Please come on down. And I will introduce the lovely cast. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Thank you, Army. Um, okay. See, uh, playing Grace, Miss Danny Ozaraka. Come on down. All right. Playing Gina, also with an excellent film. Uh, this is a live on Gitling. Um, Miss Gabby Padilla. Okay, Theo, playing Theo, Mr. Royce Cabrera. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from New York City. I'm so happy, Royce Cabrera, ng New York Asian Film Festival. 
It's quite lovely. <laughs> Plain beanie, Maurice Rafael. <laughs> and of course. <laughs> so, I don't know, your first, you know, first kung job sa uh, film industry. Um, ano, child wrangler, hindi, parang ano, taga, taga bantay ng bata sa set ng bagong buwan ni Marilu Diaz Abaya. And one of the, isa sa mga, ano, sa mga kids, um, ayun, um, was EJ. And when I saw her 20 years later, sabi niya, naalam ko ba ako? Like, oh my God, ikaw si EJ from Ang Bagong Buwan. And it's so great to work with her again, uh, this time as her director, EJ Hanorina, the heart of all of this film. Please come up. And of course, shout out to Kate Zarala, who's over there. <laughs> come on up. Ayon. So, um, yeah, so, kami po yung Marupok AF team. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, the last time I was at Cinemalaya was 12 years ago. We were the closing film for a film called Rock and Roll. Um, Jago is there, my yeah. co writer. Um, and it was one of the happiest nights of my life. And um, considering I live in Singapore now and I'm contractually obligated by my job to no longer direct and the state of the theater industry, we don't know where it's going. Um, I, I am just really happy that we have this moment. I'm just really happy to be with you here. Don't lose in a month! So I'm, I'm just very grateful to, to be here with all of you. So, Okay, so without further ado, Marupok AF, yeah! Thank <laughs> you. 